rising Venus signs and cross watchers. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need? Read for this your new moon in Taurus, sort of. We'll talk about it to full moon in Scorpio, April into May 2023. I am your reader, fellow Earth sign Virgo that I am, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Productions and S Corporation. Since 1998, almost 25 years in service, May 1st, 2023, I am also the author of Words of Grace from a professional witch. There is a Kindle version of it available. There is a link in the description box. You can click it and preview a good chunk of it for free and catch a little bit of the flavor of the prayers, practices, and principles that have kept me in business long before I started the company as a spiritual teacher, professional, intuitive, mystical artist, and all of uh, that jazz. So yeah, click the link, check it out. And if you're down in my description box, don't forget to check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle, my members only subscription platform that allows me to do all sorts of stuff free of algorithms. Yeah, we have at the time of this recording, uh, eight levels of subscriber. We have seeker, human hero, angel, witch, uh, immortal, mystic, top tier is gods and goddesses. They get everything available on my Patreon, but all of my subscribers subscribers, regardless of level of subscription, get all the extended readings that I've done since I started doing them, my timeless extended, usually all relationship-based uh, extended readings, the part twos to the part ones here on uh, YouTube, as well as they get me every single morning. I can't remember the last time I missed a day uh, that did not have a daily check-in on Patreon for all of my subscribers over there, an unlisted YouTube live stream link that allows them to chat with me every morning. I sit on the couch, a cup of coffee, usually my bathrobe. We chat about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications, always ending with a little prayer, meditation, something, something to send us on our way. And it is my favorite way to start the day. And I'm loving it a 10 billion times. It is the coolest thing I've ever done in my career. So much freedom. Uh, and we'll talk about more of that at the end because 25 years uh, in service for drawing the circle. There are some changes made. So if you are so called, click the link, check the menu, check it out, and come Patreon on Patreon. Because I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. It's just easier to call me Mal, shall we? <laughs> Let's. If you're new to the channel, we're going to do some explanation before we get into divination. A five card draw is just one card from five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about anything in particular. But in this case, a two week timeline, a beautiful, beautiful, of which you are involved. The Taurians, these five decks represent fi fire, earth, air, water, and spirit to help you refine, define the seed you want to plant at a new moon and help it grow in a waxing, manifesting, expanding, whatever you want to call it, for this uh, two week uh, period. So let's look at this two-week period because you are directly involved. Uh, the moon, it's a new moon eclipse uh, on Thursday 420. You do with that what you're going to do. Uh, uh, it is an eclipse, but it goes void, of course, at the exact same moment it goes new and eclipses, which is probably a good thing. Eclipses can be a little earthquakey, uh, and that happens at 12.13 a.m. Eastern Time. I am in New York. The moon will then go into Taurus at 12.30 a.m., not too far after that. Uh, so, obviously, you could wait until that moment if you like. The sun will go into Taurus a couple hours later, I think, um, but you can still ride that. You plant the seed, you got two weeks to build this thing. But I'm going to probably wake up uh, that Thursday morning and, and do uh, my uh, spell casting, whatever you want to call it, my intention work then. Because then we got two weeks. It brings us to the full moon to Scorpio, your opposite sign. It's how full moons work. Also an eclipse, 1.34 p.m. on Friday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Now, I will say that is the day of Venus, right? We're doing this. We're starting the eclipse on Thursday, the day of Jupiter. Really great day. Uh, uh, particularly with that new moon in Taurus for money, right? Like the Jupiter, Jove, uh, Zeus, right? The expander, planet of abundance and joy and all of that. But then to, to have that full moon 
in Scorpio on a Friday, the day of Venus Cinco de Mayo. We might be getting our stuff touched. Uh, that could be a little romantic, a little lovey-dovey. So, uh, in between those two dates, here's this is important. On the 21st, literally the day after the eclipse, Mercury goes retrograde in Aries. So, you have any planets in Aries? Already did the Aries reading. I already told them. Uh, on May 1st, interestingly enough, the anniversary of Drawing the Circle Productions, uh, 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 Pluto goes retrograde in Aquarius. Now, that is a square uh, fixed air to your fixed Earth if you are a Taurus. Cross watchers, we'll talk about y'all in a minute. So, you know, keep that in mind. It, it could be a tricky manifestational process, um, but that's the gig. And that's what these reads are for, to help you get some clarity, guidance, and grace. Uh, to manifest your heart's desire, your element of fire, which is part of what you signed up to do in this life. That's why they're written in our hearts. Right? It's part of our sacred contracts, part of our life missions, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, so it is a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs. Cross watchers, you have an opportunity here to have some understanding, sympathy, and empathy for the Taurus you are cross watching for. But if you want to help them, absolutely pay attention. If there's anything here that you could do within your own energy field, because when one of us heals, all of us heal. And you wouldn't just be helping the Taurus you're cross-watching for, it. you'd be doing it for the entire collective. So, uh, both feet on the floor, if you can. Focus on your breath, if you will, and I will do my best to help you get the clarity, guidance, and grace through my divinatory skill. Because all that explanation, you have to do, every single time. But the divination that I love to do, that shift happens in the still point. So let's, uh, let's go there, shall we? Please, take a nice deep breath. Let's see if we can have some fun with these. Still point. They are my favorite series, the five card draws. Using the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism for the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Watching this video, who are drawn to this reading, please, ancestors, what is the spell fragment to help them clarify and refine their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, or perhaps what is required to manifest that heart's desire? This, uh, their beautiful new to full harvest. Now, a little early in the planting season where I am, but I think we're looking metaphor here. If you can remember what you metaphor. The spell fragment as the waves of the ocean are infinite. Okay. As the trees in the forest grow tall, very earth signy here, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all. Sounds like a waxing reed. So, uh, in the first reading I did, oh, about an hour or so ago, in Aries, the, the, the Ascended Masters, the last card down, the spirit card, the Macon healing mantras, I always go to the Ascended Masters. It's what the deck is blessed and consecrated to. Uh, they said all of this is general assembly. Every single one of these, I don't have to pick a particular division in the Ascended Master law firm anymore, at least not for this series. So, definitely you want to plan something that you're going to harvest. That is exactly what a waxing moon is. So let's keep going. Element of Earth. We are using the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. If you have the stone indicated and want to use it as a touchstone, an amulet, a talisman, a magical carrier, you know, just a memory rock. Do you remember you got something in play for two weeks? Uh, great. Use it. If you don't have the stone indicated, no big deal. I use a piece of jewelry. Clear quartz does everything. And you're an earth sign, or at least a crosswatcher of an earth sign. I'm sure you can find something. Even a favorite sweater, but wearing it every day for two weeks. Not in this weather. Anyway, please take a nice deep breath. Let's draw down the Archangel. My Archangel. Still point. So possessive. As I call upon my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North, powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle, uh, please, beloved Archangel of Lions, beloved Archangel of Nature, beloved Archangel of Wealth, one card in clarity for the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video and who are drawn to this reading. What is their element of earth? Uh, the fuel to feed the fire and to help ground and manifest 
uh, their heart's desire. What is your guidance, your grace, your wisdom, your power to help them manifest their heart's desire? This there. Beautiful, new, too full. Ooh, tumbled stones! Ah, jackpot, really. I'm sure you've got them around. Hey, go to the beach, grab a couple of tumbled stones. Rainbow healing. I think you guys have gotten this in another reading in the past couple of months. Uh, rainbow healing. It's very chakra. You know, it's, it's, it's very all of that. Oh, and I opened right to it. So uh, let me read you what Tony Carmine Salerno and the Oracle messages. Tumbled stone, rainbow healing. Um, today marks the start of a new beginning. Okay, maybe they're talking about the new moon. Could be. Today marks the start of a new beginning. A new way of looking at life and the world around you, be it in dreams or through beautiful rainbows, you are being infused with light and blessings. Relax! It says with an exclamation point, so it means it. Relax! Uh, 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 surrender your concerns to the universal light of love and allow this wonderful healing to occur. You will soon find that others are attracted to you. Oh. Uh, many will come and seek your help and advice, for you are a beacon of light unto all. In the near future, you will empower others with your love and wisdom as you help them see their own inner light and beauty. You are a natural-born healer who heals through the power of love. Okay, so to put that in with harvest, I mean, you can harvest wisdom. That's the idea. You learn something up here, and you bring it down through the chakras, experience it in the world, and you receive wisdom that cannot be stolen from you. But this is specifically talking about healing, right? So something in this waxing process may require healing of some kind, uh, but definitely speaking about your own wisdom in that, like what you've gained through experience, not just something you read. So, you know, there's a difference, right? The difference between knowledge, knowledge plus experience equals healing. All right, let's go further. Uh, for the element of error, we're using the Archangel Fire Oracle. Uh, I know, <laughs> I'm well aware. Uh, Alexandra Wenman, Finhorn Press. Um, the Archangels only come if you call them. They, The Archangels to me are arcs, like Noah's Ark, arcs of angels, and angels are our own higher selves. So the guardian angels, right? Human here, no man. Right, so everybody has access to the archangels, but the law of cosmic non-intervention is they're not allowed to intervene unless we ask. Please take a nice deep breath. Hence the element of air, mind and thought. Think about it. Still point. as I call upon the beloved pantheons of archangels. For the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs of Cross Watchers watching this video who are drawn to this reading. Who is the archangel waving in the wings with the wings, ready to help, fly in, zoom in, with the element of air uh, to stoke that fire and help manifest their heart's desire, which maybe is or may require Harvest in their fire with tumbled stone, rainbow healing, uh, their healing wisdom. What's your guidance, your grace? Who's the archangel to help them do this? This, their beautiful, new to full. Camel, C A M A E L. Uh, definitely an indigenous people of America's vibe there. Uh, I love this deck. It takes the celestials and puts them in different cultural, traditional uh, garb, I guess. I, 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 it's it's a lovely deck. And Finhorn apparently does not fuck around. Look up Finhorn Scotland. It's uh, some pretty amazing stuff. Oh, keyword, justice. They don't put the keywords in the cards. So you got to look it up. I love that. I am a Virgo. Uh, card number seven, Camel, C-A-M-A-E-L, justice. Camel's name means one who sees God. As this archangel is able to see through illusion and get to the truth of any matter, Camel is known as the angel of justice, forgiveness, and empowerment. Camel helps us. Uh, Camel helps keep us in check. Taurus, um, a warrior like Michael, he is pictured here as a powerful Native American chief holding aloft a peace pipe and a tomahawk, showing us that we always have a choice in our actions and reactions. Uh, it helps keep us accountable so we are honest with ourselves. <coughs> Excuse me. 
throat chakra choice, you think, made me cough, and can take full responsibility for our behavior. Uh, the message, have you acted out of a lack of integrity? It asks the Archangel. Uh, are you taking full responsibility for your life? Reveal the true you and you will see the loving nature of humankind. And I think that's referring to your natural ability as a healer, or born healer. Now remember, not everybody heals the same way. I used to have a hands-on healing practice when I had a private office, because I don't like doing that in my house with people I don't know. No thanks. Uh, since then, working from home, I've put that shingle away. It may come back someday. We'll see. Um, but I'm a spiritual counselor. I have been. I was a minister, for goddess sake, right? I've heard more confessions, woo, and given out the best that I can along the way. So, you know, we all heal in different ways. There's emotional healing, psychological healing. Sometimes it's not even about calling yourself a healer, like Reiki, Shmeiki, Eggs and Bakey, you do here, that's great. Uh, but sometimes it's just with your love, right? And Taurus ruled by Venus, that would make sense. All right, Kamel, justice, right? So if obviously there's been an injustice somewhere here, so have you plant, are you planting seeds of justice and victory here? But also to look at integrity, look at or who is responsible. See, because we can, we we've everybody's everybody's done somebody wrong sometime, right? Um, but there is, is that part of it that that says we all make mistakes. We can forgive. Now, bear with me, <laughs> Taurus. Um, but that in this process that we're on to manifest our heart's desires, there has to be challenges, and these wounds were made to be healed. The lead, if you will, if you watch my shadow reads, the alchemy stuff, right? Uh, that you have the ability to really create justice in this world, but within your own energy field first. So, you know, what is your part in this? Uh, oh, are you, uh, well, both Peace Pipe and Tomahawk, I get it. Justice, but that's like balance, too. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The Element of Water, Whispers of Love, Oracle, Angela Hartfield, uh, Blue Angel Press. Uh, uh, really wonderful. The voices of the higher selves of all involved. Chances are there are a lot of people involved in this, depending on the type of justice this is about and what it is that's being harvested. And people coming to you, right, for healing as you heal. Please take it. I mean, if you're a professional healer, this is your gig. Doing it with honesty and integrity. Rock. Please take a nice deep breath. No, tumbled rock. Still point. <sighs> One more. Still point. That felt really good. Okay. <laughs> As I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, beloved ones, what is the whisper of love? Piece of information, inspiration, energy, insight, oracle, whatever, to help the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Watching this video, receiving this reading, uh, deal with their element of water, the emotional part, the love that is divine power, the energy in motion we experience as emotions when we take on physical bodies because they've got glands that kind of do that for us. So please, what is the element of water to juice up their element of fire that either is or does require harvest? Tumble Stones, Rainbow Healing, the Justice of Archangel Camel, willing to be called in. What is your whisper of love? Fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above for this beautiful, nutiful. Uh, <laughs> it's the Neil Diamond card. Get ready. Some of you know this, right? Eh? Turn on your hot light. Let it shine wherever you go. Ouch. Uh, look, this is mentioned here. The healing power of your love. Now, the suggestion in the Oracle card is allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love, and that can be in any way, shape, or form. Parental or non-parental, romantic, non-romantic, dark chocolate. <laughs> I love dark chocolate. Uh, Pepperidge Farm Nantucket's, man, I am down. I could eat a bag of those in 60 seconds, right? I love that. I don't do a lot of sugar uh, in general, but that is like a weakness for me, right? So, like, I could fall in love with, uh, you know, a, a banana bread with chocolate chunks in it, right? I can ruminate on that for a little bit. Let's bring it down, right? Start there. In other words, don't start with, you know, the trickier ones there to bring you into balance, right? So that once that heart opens, 
opens, it clears the third eye, and we are able to see things uh, differently from a more divine, heart-centered POV, E-I-E-I-O. Let's keep going. Last card down, Macon Healing Mantra. I'm so glad I don't have to figure out which department to, to tune into for romantic soul contracts. Please press two. <laughs> no, General Assembly, here they come. Let's get to the spirit mantra. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Oh. My lower back just relaxed. As I call upon the General Assembly of the Ascended Masters, my beloved Ascended Masters of the General Assembly, please, one card in clarity, the perfect healing mantra, the card of spirit, to unify, to energize, to amplify uh, the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and Cross Watchers' heart's desire, which seems to require, or is in of itself, or seems to require, harvest in their element of fire, tumblestones in earth, Kamael, just in air and turning on their heart light in water what do you got for them to manifest their heart's desire this their beautiful new to full uncovering confidence i am the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe and that is true you can't have unity if someone don't show up all right universe means one thing right e equals the e that equals mc squared well i guess it's just an f if you don't show up f's it for all of us i am the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe uncovering confidence now depending on what this justice situation is and how it affects your harvest opening the heart and doing that consistently could be a little tricky uh, because confidence is key in everything when you get that you're an immortal soul that experiences every lifetime in a linear trajectory but your higher self experiences all of your lifetimes simultaneously you're gonna be fine so I am the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe. So is everybody else so take it down a notch right? Uh, when confidence is uncovered you are living from a space of renewed purpose. Okay. You know your place in the cosmos and you have an expression of eternal light. There is no wavering on decisions or second guessing your instincts. Confidence allows you the peace of mind, Camel, to stand tall in your truth. Camel, and to move forward courageously, knowing anything that comes your way can only inspire the gift of endless expansion. And with those tumbled stones, right, that rainbow healing, it's like covering all of the different, you know, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, like all of that stuff. As you do this to bolster you in this, um, this mantra is ideal for resolving insecurities, easing personal concerns, and finding true safety in your body and the world. That sounds worth it. That sounds worth it. Just grab a couple of tumbled stones, say the mantra, cast the spell, turn on your heart light, and call the cameo. There you go. <laughs> So simple. Simple need not imply easy. Of course, in miracles, really, they should have called the book that. Anyway, uh, we're going to put this together. What's called a blessimation, a blessing and a summation. Uh, I do the blessings for real. This is any opportunity to send a little bit more magic out into the world to make this world a better place, and in this case, to help the Taurus manifest their heart's desire. I am glad to do so. Uh, and after that, we're going to talk a little bit about 25 years. Drawing the circle, there are some changes being made. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers, watching this video who are drawn to this reading, May they be blessed with all that they need. This, their beautiful, new, to full, manifesting their heart's desire by, by uncovering confidence because they are the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe. And they can discover that by turning on their heart. Like just remembering a time when they experienced love in any way, shape, or form, and then calling upon Archangel Kamel to bring that into balance, integrity, and justice, inner and outer as within, so without, as above, so below, with the rainbow healing, because they are natural-born healers, 
and they could bring great healing to themselves, therefore to this situation, which of course would bring them their heart's desire, and I would think some kind of physical, tangible outcome or form as their harvest comes in. So, you know, I want to breathe on this one. As the waves of the ocean are infinite. As the trees in the forest grow tall. Let their work now bring them to harvest. For they are ready to receive their all. For the well-being of all, and with harm to none, as we will it, so would it be done. So would it be. And so it is. If you liked it, please like it, and subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification bell. Because that shifts the algorithm. It just helps other people find the video. That's all it's doing for me. The company is helping other people find the video. I'm on Patreon. <laughs> I love Patreon. I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. You sign up for a level of subscription, you get every piece of content that I've created on it since I started it. What was that? 2022? 2021, I started it. Wow, I've been doing it for a while. Wow, it'll be two years uh, in November. So yeah, click the link, check it out. Come Patreon on Patreon. The daily live streams alone are worth it. Three bucks a month as a seeker. And you get all the extended past, present, and future. So come Patreon on Patreon. I'm a freaking hoot. But 20 years, 25 years in business drawing the circle productions. I've been charging $100 an hour for private sessions, spiritual counseling, Reiki, Shmeiki, Eggs and Beggy, readings for 25 years. If I went over the hour, it was on me. If the client wanted to tip me, that was on them. That is changing. As of May 1st, a new video will be created uh, booking a reading with Al. But there's the current one in there at the time of this recording. It explains everything you ever wanted to know about booking a reading with Mal, but perhaps we're afraid to ask. Uh, and uh, if you book me something before May 1st, even if it's after, even if it's booked for after May 1st, I will honor the $100 an hour flat rate. Group, party, Zoom, schmoom, however we want to do it, it's all in the video right now. Uh, but the new prices aren't, and I'm going to do a Build-A-Bear thing. Like, so if I'm traveling, it's this, and, you know, we're going to figure all that out. In fact, I'm having a meeting tonight on that very subject. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, book me if you like, and I'll be glad to help. Uh, and we'll certainly honor the $100 price if you book it before May 1st. And uh, most importantly, my goodness gracious, whatever justice you could bring to this planet through your own manifestation, and it may not be the social justice that we need on the planet, right? Or, you know, any of that really higher stuff. This could be very, very personal, but will certainly uh, bring you a worthy and just harvest. Just, you know, you got to uncover that confidence that's within you. So, wish you all the very, very best and the very, very blessed of this, your new moon. You know, this beautiful, beautiful, my beloved Torians, I love you. Hang in there. Heal. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.